Hi everyone. Um, so I've been contemplating doing a stash video for a while, and really my stash is so big that it would take, you know, either several days of filming to get it all done, or I would end up with a really really long video. So I decided instead just to do two or three favorites from most of the makers in my stash, so you can see more of my stash in one video. And just, you know, if you like looking at flop, you can see a pretty big variety of shapes and sizes and, you know, get an idea of what you might want to try next. Um, I had started filming this video and it took me 20 minutes to get through about a third of the stack that I have. I'm just going to go kind of quickly, um, give you the maker, the construction, and kind of give you an idea of how many other pads I have from them. So the first I have is, um, Pink Lemonade Shop. I have, I think, six or so from her. Um, but my favorite is the seven and a half inch song liner. I like it because it snaps up super narrow, um, and I actually wear it with regular underwear. It's actually a little bit too big for me for thongs, but I like it for regular underwear. So if you're looking for a super narrow liner for daily wear, highly recommend this. It's very well constructed. Uh, next is this 9 inch light from Hoo Hoo Rags. This one is cotton top and wind block backed. Um, I have about six of these. They're my favorite pad from Hoo Hoo Rags. Um, and these are my favorite pads for cut back up. Uh, 9 inches is you know, just a great, great length for me, and her light pads are very generous and could probably be used as a moderate depending on your flow. Um, so I really like them for cut back up because they're super secure feeling, and um, just enjoy them, enjoy wearing them. And this one in particular, I tend to pull out a lot, and I have to remind myself not to wear it so that it doesn't get worn out. Next, I have this eight and a half inch moderate from Equal Hearted. This is fairly new to me; I've only worn it once, um, but I just absolutely love this print. It's like multicolored goldfish. Um, this is cotton top and wind pro back with one layer of absorb. I got it to wear as either cut back up or for kind of a light day for me because I know 8 inches is too short for me to wear on its own really. Um, for a moderate day so I wouldn't really use it as a moderate pad even though it is a moderate. Uh, next I have this 8 inch liner from Glad Rags. Uh, this is the only liner I have from Glad Rags, the only pad I have from Glad Rags. Um, because their pads are fairly expensive. This is one that, this is one I got free for shipping. Um, it's flannel topped and flannel backed. Um, I actually like wearing this one a lot more than I thought I would. Um, it's great absorbency. So can you know, like sometimes you have a part, yeah, the time in your cycles here around ovulation where you kind of have a steady flow um, of cervical mucus throughout the day uh, and you need absorbency, but it's not like a full flow like during your period. So it gives you great absorbency without waterproof backing, which I wouldn't need during that time in my cycle. Um, similar with these two do these two makers this first one is a splendid story um i have six liners from her that's all i have from her only liners um four or seven and a quarter inch this one is eight two of them are eight and a half inches long uh, all of her liners are cotton topped and cotton back with flannel on the core and similar to the guy rags one it gives you absorbency with all waterproof backing which sometimes is more than sufficient um i like the eight and a half inch length because sometimes i want a little bit more coverage and she also has two snaps so you know you can snap it up as narrow as wide as you need it. Similar um, thing with this, these two from Eco All by Netta. Great coverage, um, great absorbency with all waterproof back in. So these are flannel backed um, cotton fleece in the core. I love this cloud print because I think it's super dainty, like with this little heart kind of cut out here. And then the sewing machine print because I sew a lot and it was a custom order and I just had to have a sewing machine uh, printed my stash. Next, um, these three liners, I all like, I like all of these. <laughs> Ooh, I like all of them for the same reason. I'm trying to keep this video short. Um, this first one is from We Essentials. Um, these are kind of my first ultra thin liners. They're cotton topped and flannel backed. Again, great absorbency without waterproof backing because you kind of just have, you know, just any kind of dampness. Sometimes even sweat. Like, you think about in the summertime where you don't want to have to change your whole, change your underwear. You can just change your liner. So this is kind of great for that kind of daily wear need. Um, next is, this is an 8 inch liner from Essence of Eve. I have 6 of them, um, from a 6 pack, <clears throat> kind of rainbow pack, and I like the yellow one best because it's just super sunny and cheerful. Again, these, I like these liners because they snap up super narrow, so that's kind of important for me with liners that they be very trim, and these definitely do that. Um, this next one that I like a lot is a 7.5 inch light from Crimson is a New Black. I have 2 pads from home, this one and a 13 inch heavy. Um, and this is my favorite just because, again, super trim, light pad, very narrow, but still good coverage. And I like, if the pad is on the short side, so for me, a kind of ID length for liners is 8 inches long. 
But seven, like the like seven and a half inches is fine. If it's on the studio side, because then it's not gonna shift, which is the main reason I need extra length. Um, and this is really well sewn, so it's definitely kind of studio and stays put. Next make I have um, these are two from Mother Moon Pads. This first one is a twelve inch heavy. Uh, this is when I first realized that I really love Minky. I love this print first of all, um, but I especially like um, just how comfortable this pad is to wear. It was one of my favorites to wear um, on really crampy days. I don't cramp as much anymore, but sometimes even my vulva would hurt. That's how bad the cramps were. Like it would just be a wave from my stomach down while <laughs> basically following the path of the blood out. Um, sorry to get a graphic. Um, and sitting on this pad would just make me feel so much better. And I also love her eight and a half inch liners. These are also a good ultrasound option. Um, cotton top and just anti quilt fleece on the back with no core. And I like them because again, eight and a half inches is a really great length for me because they stay put and they don't shift. Um, and it snaps up nice and trim. This is from my first purchase on one. Um, it's been worn a lot. I think it's probably one of my most worn liners. Next, I have three pads from Yardcraft. Yardcraft is one of the first um, people I ever bought from. This Hedgy pad, Hedgehog's print pad, is from my first purchase from Yardcraft. It's the first pad I wore when I got that um, package in. Um, this is a seven and a quarter inch liner. I think this is probably my most worn pad, and you can see it's like in really good condition. It's been washed probably dozens of times. Um, cotton top, wind pro back. Next, I have this um, nine and a quarter inch light wingless pad. I wear this a lot when I wear shapewear, um, so kind of high-waisted, long underwear that kind of goes down to your knees, um, or mid-thigh, I should say, and you can't really wear winged liners with that. So if I need to wear a liner, um, when I wear one of those, I wear this one. <laughs> I, like the, I have two of them, and I like this print in particular because it's very dressy, and I tend to be wearing like a fancy dress when I wear shapewear, like a wedding or something, and this one always seems like most appropriate for the occasion. And next I have this. Um, ten and a half inch heavy from Yardcraft. Um, I like this one in particular because I have sorry because it has um a cotton linen topper, which I really wish more people had this as a topper because it's so cool. Um, and it's still wicking, so it's kind of wicking like flannel, but it kind of keeps the um the look of flat cotton. So, you know, a lot of people don't like flannel because flannel pills and they think it looks aged too quickly. And this one, um, it's only been washed twice, but it still looks better than a lot of flannel looks after two washes. Um, and it responds really well to stain treating. I haven't had any trouble stain treating this. Uh, yeah, I just, I really love this as a top one. I think it should be offered more. Um, next I have these two from Creations by Five. The first one is this eight, eight inch light, um, and then the top. Um, I like this one in particular because it's kind of a super cushy pad. So I like wearing this when, um, kind of like to the beginning of my cycle or even the end of my cycle where I'm not really sure what's going to happen next. But because it's thick, the thickness makes up for it being on the shorter side. So I'm okay with it being short if I know it's going to be close to my body and the thickness kind of lends to that. And also I just, I really like the feel of knit, um, cotton knit. Because it kind of feels just like the underwear, right? So it's like super comfortable. It just like feels natural for it to be the underwear. So I like this one a lot. Um, and the other creation I've had that I picked as a favorite is this 12 inch heavy uh, and it's Narwhal's print. I think it, this is this print is from a series called Saltwater. I forget which like fabric designer did it. Um, and I have a couple of prints. I have I think three or four pads from that series. Um, but I love this pad in particular because I just like this length. And again, creation by five pads to me are kind of on the cushy side but in a good way. Like she has this really nice dense velour fleece that she uses on the back. So this is one of my kind of at-home pads where I just want to put a pad on and be lazy um, and feel comfortable and cozy. Yeah, so I, I really just like this pad for that reason. The next I have is a 10 inch moderate from Lazy Creep Boutique. I have two pads from Lazy Creep Boutique. The other one is a 12 inch heavy. Um, I love that one a lot too, but this one in particular just stands out because it really kind of shows off all the things that Lazy Creep Boutique is well known for. So first of all, the pad is super, super thin. This is a minky, so it, you know, it has a bit of a pile. It's really thin on its own, very floppy. Um, but more than that, like, it's embroidered. <laughs> I mean, like, you know, you usually see it in embroidery on the wings sometimes, but it's embroidered on the middle. It says, I'm on island time. I'm from the Caribbean, so I just, I love having this pad in my sash. It's kind of, if I, I guess I had to pick a sash on my pad that 
apart from my stash that best represented me, like maybe it would be this one. I love the colors. I love the embroidery. I love, you know, the saying on it. Like it's just such a cute, like fun pad to have in a stash. It really shows off kind of the creativity that you can have with cloud pads. Um, so yeah, I really love this one. Uh, next <clears throat> make I have is Wilson Dial. Um, this is a 10 inch moderate. Um, I love this one in particular because it's printed cotton velour. Usually you see bamboo velour have lots of fun dyes, but nobody really does cotton velour. Um, I'm not sure where Courtney got this um, topper from, but it's just really gorgeous and I love this floral pattern. And I like this shape in particular. This is a 10 inch tessellation pattern um, and it's a really nice trim pad. Um, and if, when I get to the point of my cycle, where I'm wearing just a 10 inch pad on its own, like I really want something kind of trim and discreet and this one does that. This next one is an 11 inch heavy, also cotton velour top. Um, and again, it's one of those pads where it's cushy, so I kind of just enjoy wearing it on crampy days and just when I'm at home. Next I have this 10 inch moderate from Heidi Hart's Handmade. Um, I, I have two of them from her. Um, first of all, her sewing is just amazing like it's really really well constructed like you know this pad is going to survive many many washings um i picked this one instead of the other one just because i love the beach print like i really love going to the beach um yeah and i just so that's why i picked this one in particular similar to this one which is from annie bell's essentials another 10 inch moderate i picked because of the beach print you know this was a custom order and when i saw it i had to have it um i even was able to talk to her at the time about exactly which placement i wanted so just like a fun pad I bought it during summertime. A lot of my pads just have kind of um, sentimental value at this point, you know. They all function well, but some of them have, you know, some nostalgia attached to them as well. Um, unfortunately, Annie doesn't sell anymore. So this is one of those pads that's going in the never de pile because I know I can't replace it. Uh, next week I have here is Honeymoon Reusables. I bought these when she was still called Rump's Love, so I think she still offers the 8-inch shape, which is on the left here, uh, the 8-inch light. I kind of just love this little print, just chick on its own with among all these eggs. And this is a great um, shape and style for an 8 inch liner for me. And uh, the other one is a 9 inch moderate. This one is the one I'm not sure if she offers this length anymore because I haven't bought from her in a while. Um, but I like this one in particular because 9 inches is short for me to wear as a moderate on its own, but I like it for cut back up because this kind of like the Hoover Rags one is just the right amount of coverage for me um, while being discreet. Um, so it kind of gives me maximum length I can get away with without it showing, you know, the front and back of my underwear. Um, and a moderate means it's good absorbency for cut back up if I leak on a heavy day. And this print is adorable. You know, it has two little love words on it. Uh, next I have Novel Red. I have, um, I think three pads of Novel Red in my stash right now. This one is my favorite because this is a 9-inch moderate. Kind of why I like the other one. It's a great for cut back up. Um, this one in particular, like the first time I wore it, I was just so impressed with it because nine inch pads are kind of I can wear eight inch pads very comfortably, I can wear ten inch pads very comfortably. Nine inch pads, depending on the shape for me, they fit in a very weird way. Like they kind of, if they have a sometimes the flare just like sticks out of my underwear if it's like not exactly the right length or the right shape. Um, but this one is kind of if I had to have. If I had to remake all the 9-inch pads of my stash, I would remake them in this style. Um, it's just the right length. It's just the right shape for 9-inch pad for me in particular. Like, it doesn't flare. Because for some me Okay, sorry. Uh, my pads tend to, I guess, scoot forward. Um, so, when I put a pad, even though the pad is symmetrical, for me, there's a lot more of the pad to the front of my underwear than to the back of my underwear. So, for a 9-inch pad... If it has a flare, it could mean that the flare at the back ends up sticking out of my underwear, which is why I need to be 10 inches or 11 inches long. Um, so to get a 9-inch pad that is straight, then there's no flares sticking out in white places, and it still has good coverage, you know, is amazing. Like, this one just snaps up kind of just the right width for me. It just stayed in place, and it's so, so reliable. It's got back up, like, good absorbency, not going to shift, not going to do bleed off the size. Like, just a super reliable pad. Um, next is Grayson Street Emporium. Um, I have three pads on her. They're all equally well sewn. Um, but this one is special because the OBV, it's not as soft now because I air dry my pads. Um, but when I got it, it was the softest OBV I have ever felt on a brand new pad. 
even now like it's still softer than the other OBB I have. I don't know where she got the OBB from. Um, but it's insanely soft. Also, her pads are incredibly thin, and this is her, the cotton pad I have from her is even thinner. Cause this is just because the OBB has a pile. This is a moderate. It's just I can't really describe how thin this is, and of course, super floppy. Um, really well sewn. I super enjoy wearing this one. Next, I have two pads from Mimi's Dreams. Um, I picked these two because one. This print is called When Pigs Fly, <laughs> and it is adorable. I actually love, I'm one of people who likes flying. Um, I enjoy being on planes. Um, but I picked this one in particular because the, I have most, most of my Mimi Dream pads are these eight and a half inch light pads. Um, they're called panty liner pads, but they usually come with a default light absorbency, which is three layers of flannel. And I have, um, I'm going to say, possibly, um, Either nine or ten of them. Um, they're one of my favorite liners for daily wear. Uh, with the anti-pill face on the back or with Win Pro. This one in particular is Win Pro. Great, great pads for cut back up um for my needs. Um and good for light days as well. So and this pad is this one is just is too cute. And the other one I picked is uh this is her overnight pad, she calls it. It's only ten and a half inches long and it's usually default moderate absorbency, so I don't wear it um for heavy overnights, but I do actually enjoy wearing this one for lighter overnights towards the end of my cycle. Um, but this one in particular I love because I kind of am obsessed with breakfast prints. Um, I don't have as many in my stash as I would like, but I always kind of they always kind of catch my eye. And this one is flannel, and I like I'm one of people who likes flannel, um, and I like wearing this one, you know, overnight kind of either the end of my cycle or the beginning of my cycle. But I'm not sure what's gonna happen next. Flannel is Wiccan, so. If there's a sudden gush, it will get absorbed, and this is actually pretty good coverage. Um, 10 inch pads fit me really well, generally, and these flares fit comfortably in my underwear, and this gives me good coverage overnight. Next, I have Rainbow's Grace. And the first one I have is this 7 inch light from her. Um, I just really love this print. I, th I forget the name of the series this print came from. Um, but this is like a, it's, oh, it's a Vikings print, actually. And this is a fun part of this scene where, they, you know, they're fighting a sea monster. And I think it's super cute. Um, and I really like that her pads snap up, again, really narrow. So I use this kind of as a daily wear. Um, and because it's a light pad and her light pads are wind-pro on the back. Again, it's super sturdy. So for me, that makes up for the length. Um, and it stays in place nicely. And the next one is, again, like a sea theme print, which I like a lot. Um... This is an 11 inch heavy, and as is, I love the print, first of all. I actually really like her 11 inch pads, again, because they snap up on the narrow side, um, which is a big concern for me, because they don't they don't bunch for me in this weird way. They like they stay nice and flat, and they can bleed on the middle. Um, I like that her pads are asymmetrical, which is not that easy to find, uh, especially with a lot of people making front bleeder pads now, but a lot of people didn't have, um, sometimes it can be hard to find extra covers at the back. And also, this pad has, in particular, has this gorgeous coral wind pro on the back. So, I really like this one. Um, I like her 11 inch pads. Sometimes people ask, um, you know, who's a good maker to recommend if you are trying to build a stash for a tween? Um, and I would recommend Rainbow's Grace because because her pads are kind of, you know, they're very trim and they snap up relatively narrow. Um, because they're asymmetrical, you can get extra coverage in the back. And honestly, she always has really cute, fun kind of. Feminine prints without being too girly, if you're worried about, you know, you want to find something that's fun without being childish. Um, so I enjoy her pads a lot. Next, this is from Vanilla Key Pads. Um, this is just adorable, like milk and cookies print. Um, it says you look delish, <laughs> call me baby. Um, I, this is another one that is like just plush and comfy and comforting to wear. Um, flannel top, so it's weekend. I, this is an overnight absorbency, it's two layers absorbed. So I wear it overnight or, you know, when I'm being lazy at home. Um, yeah, it's just a fun pad to wear. Next I have, um, this is Omi's Boutique. This is the only pad I have from home, but I love it a lot. Um, I love this, the color of it, this bright orange color. Um, nice coverage, you know, again, asymmetrical with more coverage in the back, which was important to me when I bought this. Um, two layers absorb, but sewed in a really nice trim way, so it's not too thick. Um, yeah, I just really... I, just enjoy wearing the pad. Same with this. This is an 11 inch heavy from Cozy Cloth. Um, flannel top and anti-roll fleece pack. Um, again, 
one of those pads that it's not necessarily glamorous looking, um, but it is a wig horse. It does absorb very well. I really enjoy wearing this one. I wanted it more than I thought I would have, would wear it. Um, flannel top, so it's nice and wicking. And this is very budget friendly. I think this pad probably didn't cost more than seven or eight dollars. So I would recommend cozy cloth if you're trying to build a stash on a budget. Um, they do also offer hidden PUL with no upcharge. I just didn't want it at the time. Next is Cloth Dreams. Um, I only have two pads from Cloth Dreams. Um, I picked this one in particular because this was the one of the first overnight pads where I re finally really felt comfortable overnight. Um, when I started using cloth, I was on hormonal birth control, and I had a really, really, really heavy night. Like one night in particular, just one night of my cycle was just kind of gush city. Um, and this pad was one was it held up. It has a great core. Um, it's a graduated core, so it's four layers of uh, super heavy organic bamboo fleece in the middle, and then two layers extend all the way out to the edge of the pad. Um, she uses anti pull fleece on the back, but I've never leaked through the pad. I have leaked off of it, but that's my issue, not hers. Um, so I highly recommend um, this maker if you want like an asymmetrical pad with a big flare in the back. She also does a double flare, so you can have a flare just as big in the front. I think by custom order you can get it as long as you want. This one is 13 inches, but I think she might go up to 17. Um, she does OBV and Minky. I just I really enjoy wearing this pad on like overnight of just again lazing around at home. Uh, next I have Homestead Emporium. So this is a brand um, you probably have heard of. It's one of the most probably most well known brands I think. Um, but I only got into her this year because it's kind of hard to get if you're in the US um but I got lucky because I you know a world time co-op came up anyway um why I picked these four pads in particular first of all this on the right here is a ultimate extra small they all have specific names but I'm just gonna give you the dimensions um and the absorbency this is a 10 inch moderate pad and what I like about this um her pads, I'm a center bleeder, so if you're not, if you bleed particularly in one direction, they may not work for you. Um, but I'm a center bleeder, so it doesn't bother me that there's no core sewn to the back here, right? The core stops. The core is about eight, eight inches long. Um, that works fine for me. And also, OBV is very absorbent anyway, so you're not really losing that much absorbency. Um, but this pad is so trim, like it snaps up really narrow. I think the narrowest width goes to two point two five inches. So for me, this is really great. Um, as cut back up on a heavy day, if you are kind of early in your cycle, like just this is a great just in case pad. Like it's just really nice, and it's honestly so trim you could wear it as a light pad because it's just like almost non-existent at the back, right? With the because the cord is next and all the way out. And she uses um on the back, and of course, all the toppers are like gorgeous hand dyed OBV or um bamboo fleece and that kind of thing. Next one I love from Homestead Emporium is this 11 inch moderate. Um, it's called a long regular comfort contour. That's the name of it. Um, if you need more absorbency in one direction, this is a good one to get because the absorbency goes all the way to the ends. Um, I like this one for, again, days at home. 11 inches is a good length for me for that. And um, I, I also like that this exposed core. So, I'm sorry, I'm a center bleeder. And for me, with exposed cores like this one, where the core stops and then there's no absorbency on the wings. This is really good because it forces the blood to move um, into the rest of the pad as opposed to off the wings. So I like this a lot. For, um, I could even wear it on a heavy day <clears throat> just so long as I know to change it a little earlier. And these next two are both the same length. These are the Ultimax Slim. Um, they're both about just about 15 inches long, so I think 14 and a half inches long. Um, and this one on the right is bamboo fleece top, and this is, I'm not sure what kind of bamboo fleece this is, but it feels kind of like flannel, but it doesn't pill as much, and it's nice, again, cool, but again, it doesn't have a pile, um, like Obi V does, so it's just really enjoyable to wear. And this one is this gorgeous Obi V color, Obi V in this gorgeous color, I should say, um, a color that she called Seraphim at the time. Um, it's even more vibrant. I don't... I, again, I air dry my pad, so the OBB doesn't dry like as lush as it could be because of how I dry my pads, but I promise this is like a super gorgeous color. Um, I love the Ultimax Slim because it's a great overnight length. Again, like the core is only about uh, maybe 11 inches long, um, 
So, you know, it's still trim at the back, but you get all this extra coverage um, and it's a good absorbency anyway. Next, I have Environmental. This is one of those brands where I wish I had found earlier because I would have bought a lot more. Um, the first one is this, uh, on the right here, is this 10 and a quarter inch moderate. So Environmental, um, all of her pads have hidden PUL. They're all cotton backed. Maybe also final back sometimes. Um, and the top is usually something really soft. So this one is minky. Um, so you get like, what I love about the pads, several things. First of all, because she does, um, hidden PUL, you get two fun, both sides of the pad are equally fun. Like, her toppers are always gorgeous, like, this is really vibrant yellow minky, this fun floral print on the back, um, they're so and so nice and trim, like, this is a moderate pad, but it's super thin, I think she uses bamboo fleece, but I'm not sure of what weight, um, it's just, it's just a well-sewn pad, and I love this particular shape in particular. Um, this is my few 10 inch moderate pads, like I feel completely comfortable wearing on its own. I also use it for come back up if I need to. Um, it's just, they're just so well constructed, like, I, I have no complaints about anything or what from environmental. Um, and the other one I have for my is this 13 inch heavy pad. Um, she calls it a super, it has two layers of bamboo fleece. Um, again, hidden PUL, so you have this fun cotton print on the back, a micro fleece on the top. Um, I love this. I like micro fleece a lot as a topper because it's wicking, because it stay dry. Um, so I like wearing this either kind of lazy days at home or overnight when I'm not really. It's not. This is not really sufficient for me on my heaviest overnight, um, my heaviest night of my cycle. But it's great for the other nights where my flow can pick up overnight. I'm not hundred percent sure that it will or, or how much it will be by. Um, and this will definitely keep me dry long enough for me to get up and change before I need to worry about anything. Um, so highly recommend environmental. I love that this is asymmetrical. I think it's designed to be um, uh, with the long part to the front, but you know you can't really see the print, so I just wear it with the long part to the back or you know to the front, depending on what I need that day. Next, um, this is a pad I made myself. I use this. Um, I use the pattern, the moon glow pattern for this one. This is the fourteen inch heavy. Well, it's the fourteen inch pattern. I made it as a heavy. Um, and I like this pad, one, because it's asymmetrical, two, because it's just 14 inches has kind of become my um, my at-home length. Like, this is my preferred length for just being at home. And I made this as a hidden core and hidden POL pad. So this is actually the back, and POL is right under here. And I use an upcycled t-shirt for it, which is one of the reasons why I like it so much, because an upcycled t-shirt is pretty much the same material as, you know, cotton underwear, and it just, it really feels like really natural to wear it as a pad because it just absorbs everything it absorbs sweat so there's no kind of you know it's summertime where I am um I don't have air conditioning so a pad like this that keeps me cool and dry is very welcome so this is my favorite pad from my kind of home sewn sash uh, next I have this ooh, not that one um this nine inch light from red rain pads which is a Canadian seller um this is again one of my favorite pads to use as come back up uh it's it says it's light, but it's nine. It's, I'm sorry, one layer absorbed, which is gonna be light to moderate depending on your flow. Uh, this one has been pro backed. Um, I just, you know, it's a cute minky print and it's good and reliable as cut back up. Uh, next, I have this 12 inch heavy, sorry, 12 inch overnight pad from Party My Pants. Um, this is from my very first cloth pad purchase. I bought um, the Party My Pants, uh, the six pack, I think, they kind of like try every size pack. And I kept this one and one other from that from that pack. And this is probably the oldest pad in my stash now. Um, and yeah, just this is this is final topped, and it hasn't pilled, right? This pad is over a year old. So if you can consider about final pilling, it really helps to get good quality flannel. So actually, what I did was when I saw this print somewhere else, I looked up the maker, and it was Riley Blake. So that's the I guess designer or seller or whatever. Um, so if you know. Who makes the flannel you can decide if it's worth buying because this hasn't pulled at all in all the time i've worn it um spotting my pants you know it's nylon backed um and people complain about the shifting and that definitely can happen but for me it didn't happen with this one because it's so long so if you can say about shifting with parting my pants we want to try it anyway um i would say go try to do, go one size up um so you can get more length and that will help it stop shifting and also make sure to get the second snap um, so I usually wear this with the second snap, um, 
and it doesn't shift at all and it's good coverage and you know it's reliable because nylon is pretty much waterproof and last but not least um this is a 14 inch heavy from uh sky baby dipes um this is such good coverage this is also this is probably the first time i wore a 14 inch pad overnight and i kind of loved it <laughs> um it's such good coverage and this is also poly knit top which is a wicken kind of stay dry top because it's not absorbent itself so everything just goes into the pad Again, I love this one because it is an exposed core with no absorbency on the wing, so everything just goes, it starts here and just goes forward and back and not off to the sides, so this is one of my kind of, again, workhorse pads. Um, if I'm going to stay at somebody's house and I need a lot of coverage, this is a good one to take because I know it's going to keep me dry and keep everything where it's supposed to be all night. Um, so yeah, so that was, I honestly have no idea. <laughs> I didn't count, um, maybe I'll count on like, Add it to the description or add it to a little kind of, um, I don't know, a note or something on the page on the video. Um, but yeah, that's like a look at a good bit of my stash and nearly every maker. Um, yeah, I just I hope that was fun to watch. And you know, if you want any more information on any particular maker or any one of the pads that I showed, let me know. And thanks for watching. Bye.